let's look at how to import and manage your contacts on an active campaign. So on the left side menu, let's click on contacts. And then here you can see an overview of all of the contacts that you currently have on active campaign. So right now we only have our own email address that we've used to sign up with for active campaign. And then there's nothing else because we haven't imported anything yet. Now, as you can see here, active campaign actually offers you to help you migrate your uh, your lists and your automations from another provider into active campaign and if you're interested in that just click on request a free migration here and then i think depending on the plan that you choose they will help you set everything up the same way as you had it on the other provider so that's really helpful but in my case i'm just going to click on no thanks here so the way contacts are managed on active campaign is very similar compared to other providers like when we go to lists here on the top left, we can see all of our email lists, our contact lists. Now, by default, we have this master contact list here where currently we have one contact, which is us. And if you want to, you can create more lists. So we can have a list for, let's say, people interested in a specific course, people interested in another product. So that's really up to you. So if you want to create a new list, just click on add list here on the top right and then create whatever list you want. Personally, I prefer to manage my contacts using tags rather than lists. So when we go to under manage, we can click on tags and then you can see you can add specific tags. So for example, if I have somebody interested in email marketing, I will create an, a tag called email marketing and I will add that tag. And then whenever somebody signs up through a specific funnel that is about email marketing, I will assign that tag to that person. So I actually don't need multiple email lists. I can just send a campaign to everybody who, ha who has a specific tag. So that's why I personally only use one list to keep things kind of organized. So I'm not gonna create any other lists. I'm gonna, just gonna work with the master contact list here that we already have. And then under manage, you, already, you also have other ways on how you can manage your contacts, which I'm not gonna go in detail here. But what I wanna show you is how to import your existing contacts to active campaign if you are migrating from another provider. If you don't have any contacts yet, just skip to the next part of this tutorial. So to import contacts, just click on contacts here on the top left. And then on the top right, we can see add a contact or import. Now, if you want to, you can just click on add a contact and then add each single contact manually, which you probably don't wanna do because it just takes too long. So what we're gonna do is just click on import on the top right and then we're gonna import a file that we can export from the other provider. So let's say you've been using MailChimp or ConvertKit, you can just export all of your contacts as a CSV file, and then you wanna down download that file, and then once you've downloaded that, you can just go come here, click on import from file, and then you wanna um, look for that file. So I've just created an example file here, here and click on open. Now, just to show you how this looks like, the file that you're gonna be importing, it's basically just like an Excel sheet where you have your contact's email address, you have the name, and you have other information like where they're from, what they're interested in, the tags that you gave them, and so on. So once you've imported that file, this is what you're gonna see. So all of the columns that we've seen before, we can also see here as lines. And now we wanna make sure to import every attribute of our contacts correctly. So here we can see the column says name, and then we wanna make sure it actually saves this information as name, also an active campaign. So name is first name, that's fine because I only asked for the first name. And then email is gonna be email address. That's obvious, that's great. Now let's scroll down and you wanna just look at the ones that are assigned. So custom birth date is gonna be subscribe date. So here you can see that's wrong. So you can either just create a new field here and add the information birth date so it takes it over correctly, or you can just not import this information if it's not important to you. So personally, I don't really care about the birth date of my leads or my contacts. So I just choose do not import this field. And then I'm gonna go down and then we have last update. 
it will save it as the last name, which is wrong. So let's just do not import this field either. So all I'm interested in is the email address and the name which we have here. Once we've checked this, we can choose the list that we want to put those contacts on. So let's choose our master contact list. Then we can also add tags. So this is what I showed you before to um, basically segment your lists. Now, for example, we could add a tag which says imported from, let's say MailChimp. So let's say imported from MailChimp and hit enter. And then we always know that everybody who has that tag was imported from MailChimp. All right, so that's all fine. Let's click on import now on the bottom right. And now it says that your import has been completed. So we can go to lists and then click on our master contact list. And then we can see the newly imported contacts that we just imported. 